welcome to our prayer cast. We're going to start in a minute here, but I want to read a verse of scripture to you. Uh, as I was thinking this morning, and this is the verse came to me uh, of all the things that are happening in the world. And I'm looking at Matthew chapter 24. Uh, we know that chapter very well. Uh, this is Jesus speaking, so we need to take note that it is Jesus speaking. Uh, and he says, take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. Here's the good part. But the end is not yet. <laughs> For nations will rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. And there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. So it's just the beginning. But it goes on further and tells us what's going to happen when it's really the end. So we need to read that at another time. But I just think that we need to pay attention to what the Lord is saying to us. And we need to pray about these things because so much is happening in the world and the nations. There's so many, just, so many things are going on and we need to begin to cover these things as we pray. So let's just begin to pray now. We're going to cover wherever the Lord takes us in prayer today. Uh, but I was really impacted by the scripture, uh, the wars and the rumors of wars and the things that are happening in the world. And we as a body of Christ have the ability and the responsibility to bring all these things before the Lord in prayer. So, Father, we just want to thank you and praise yes, you that, Lord, you have given us this responsibility, and you've also anointed us to carry with this responsibility. We thank you, Lord, that you've given us everything that we need for life and godliness. And one of the most important things that you've given us is access into your throne of grace that we may cry out to you on behalf of anything that we see happening in our world or that <clears throat> needs to happen in our world, Lord, we can cry out to you, knowing, Lord God, that as we seek your face and cry out to you according to your word, you say that you hear us. Amen. And, Lord, this is our confidence that if we know that you hear us, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of you. So, Lord, we're just praying for the body of Christ Amen. today, that, Lord, that we will not be worried <laughs> about anything, we will not be shaken or not be disturbed in our spirits because we know that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You have everything yes, in your hands everything in hand. You are controlled of everything. And Father, we say thank you and praise you that you are sitting on your throne of grace, yes. ruling and reigning yes, in the affairs of men all around the world. We yes, bless yes. you. <clears throat> and we know, Lord God, that you're ruling even here in this city of San Antonio, from San Antonio, as we seek your face. Lord, we are praying and your word, is, your hand is being extended around the world. There are so yes. many things happening in nation after nation. It's no wonder that people might even begin thinking that we are coming to the end of the age. But Lord, your word says that's not so. We're at the beginning of the end of the age. We're not at the actual end yet. But so here we are, Lord God, grabbing the horns of the altar, crying out to you, knowing that you are hearing us. And as we seek your face, you will begin to move by your spirit. You will cause things to come into position so that your will is done. We want to thank you, Lord, for the power of prayer to a living God. You hear us, and when you, you're hearing us and you will move in response to our prayers. So Lord, we thank you. You have called us to this place of prayer. You made a way for us for there was no way. Lord, you, it says what of, to us in the word of God that the, the, the veil of the temple was rent in two from top to bottom. And Lord, that happened when you were slain on the cross. And, Lord, that opened a way for us to come in where we had no authority to go. And now we can come into your presence and seek your face and cry out to you and know that you hear us. And, Father, we are crying out to you today because we need you to hear us today. There's so many things that are happening that need your intervention in them. And so we thank you, Lord God, for opening the way for us this very day in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for the access that we have yes. through your blood. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, thank you even for inviting us to come boldly yes, before your throne. That's of right. Grace. That's right. And so, Lord, we come. We come with that confidence yes. this morning. Hallelujah. Lord, that you have washed us by your blood and that we we've been given a, a right standing to be able to appear before the God of gods, the Lord of lords. Yes, Lord God. And we do bow in worship 
before your majesty this morning yes, and yes, we Father. hallow your name yes, Father yes, 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 yes. Lord we acknowledge that you are the eternal one who has a plan and who knows the end yes, yes, yes. from the beginning yes and it is a good end and it was a good beginning Hallelujah. And everywhere in between, you keep turning things for good according to your purposes. And we declare today our faith that you are a good God. And Lord, we just thank you that even though there is strife and turmoil and shaking and nations are pitted against nations and even our own lives, Things happen, disasters are occurring, unexpected, tragic Mm. events, Mm. Lord, Mm. that would overwhelm us if we did not know you and did not know that there was a good end, an expected good end to it all. And Lord, my translation of the Matthew 24, 8 verse is that all these things are merely the beginning of birth pains. Hallelujah. And so, Lord, we see all these uh, oh, difficult Lord. challenges and tragedies as signs of all creation groaning yes. under the weight of sin and with the longing for the revelation of the sons of God who you have chosen to bring restoration to all things. Mm -hmm. So Lord, this is the best of times for us who know you. Hmm. It could look like the worst, but Lord, it's the beginning of the most glorious age of man on earth. Yes, Lord. Because you have brought us to a point where we can reveal you yes, more fully oh God, yes, and oh be as Jesus on the earth, yes, his body, yes, representing his character, yes, his yes. purposes, <laughs> and even his power. That's right. We praise you and we glorify mm-hmm. your name. Thank you, Father. Thanks. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, that this is just the beginning of, of birth pains. As we said, as you read, read today, it is just the beginning of birth mm-hmm. pains. So that means that you are birthing something mm-hmm. through us, your people, the intercessors that are hearing your voice mm-hmm. and speaking yes. your word and making declarations over our cities, over our homes, over our nations, over the whole mm-hmm. earth, that your will be done, Lord God, that it will be born. Lord, you're the one that spoke uh, the earth into being. You spoke everything out of nothing. And Lord, you've given us the ability to do the same. We know we know that we live in a voice activated kingdom, so to speak. As we declare your word, we see things made manifest. And so Father, we want to thank you that this is just the beginning of birth pains. And so we will begin to bring to birth the purposes of God as we hear them by the unction of the Holy Spirit. We will decree them and we will see them come to pass. We will see nation align in the right way. We will see decision makers align according to the will of God. We will see households change according to the word of God. We'll see whole cities change according to the will of God. We say, Lord, we want to thank you that we have the ability to do this by your word and by your spirit. And we thank you that your word is sharper than any two-edged sword. Mm -hmm. And as we decree your word, uh, amazing things begin to happen. It cuts between the dividing of son of bone and marrow and soul and spirit and the discerning of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. We thank you, Lord, that your word penetrates that your bur- your word cuts through things that would try to defy you and it, it just misses it up. Oh, God, we want to thank you, Lord God. It cuts through as precise. We bless you for your word. We thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord, for the power of the Holy Spirit to decree your word and to pray your word and to know that you're hearing us and you will cause our prayers to be made manifest into tangible reality. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father, we just know that even at this time, you are doing a work equipping your people, yes, Lord, so that yes. your people who are the answer, filled with your life, Lord, they are going to be adequate for this hour. That's right. And we thank you, Lord, 
We thank you, Father, that the um, ten virgins are arising. <laughs> and we thank you, Lord, for those five virgins who've got oil in their lamps. Mm. And we thank you, Lord, that they are going out to meet the bridegroom. I thank you, Lord, that there is sufficient oil. Yes. And Lord, that a work will be done in these days, Father, which glorifies you. I thank you, Father, that your people will be ready in the day of your power. That's right. I bless you, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that you are going to demonstrate your power. You're going to show that by revealing the sons of God in the earth, Lord, that I praise you, Father, that these are the days when we shall see mighty power, mighty yes. deliverances, Father, because the deliverer is in us. We are the overcomers. And I thank you, Father. We're not looking to overcome. We have got the overcomer that's living right. within that's us. Right. We praise that's you, right. Father. Mighty that's overcomer. Right. We worship you. We thank you, Father. We, are, we worship you, Lord, that the overcoming power of God is being demonstrated in the, in the body of Christ, Father, throughout this nation, throughout our city, Lord God, and we speak into the people yes, of God, God, even the word of the Lord, and we tell them to wake up, wake up, Hallelujah. arise, arise. Yes. They hear the sound, the, the bridegroom is coming, yes. and I pray, Father, that there be a waking up, Father, the people of God are being filled with the Holy Spirit, Father. We ask yes. you, Lord God, for yes. hunger to be stirred yes. in the hearts of your people, Lord, yes, that oh they God. will be filled with your power, yes. filled with your spirit. We pray for all the different denominations, Lord, Hmm. Father, those who've never really experienced the deluge of Pentecost, Father, we ask you, Lord God, that in your graciousness, even in these days, Lord God, you would open eyes, open ears, Lord, clear away cobwebs, Father, Lord, give revelation, Father, and Lord, come by your mighty spirit, Father, Lord, we pray for the equipping of the saints, Father, for the work of the ministry, we say, Lord God, come down upon these people, Lord, we say, Lord, let us not be just churches filled with people, Lord, Lord God, but Father, yes. we would be an army on the move, fulfilling yes. heaven's bidding upon the earth, Lord God. And we yes. ask you, Lord, come down, come down, come yes. down. Yes, oh God. In Jesus' name. Have your way, have your way, Lord Father God, that we will come in agreement as your church, Father, that there will be a unity in the body of Christ like never before, Father, in this beginning of end times, Father, that they will be one voice, one voice being heard, Father, from your church, yes. that your church will arise in power, in anointing, with our conquering spirit, knowing that, yes, the conqueror is in us, Father God, that we will be able to be the answer, Father, in these times, in these times, Father, of, of the beginning of painful situations all around our world, all around the globe. Father, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will raise up an army that will come in agreement, that your body will be in agreement these days. Yes, oh God. Father, I pray for that agreement. I pray for that agreement, Father, because in that unity, in that agreement, there is powers, there's solutions. Yes. Father, there's there is just a manifestation of the power of the Lord, of the Spirit of God. Father, when your people, Father God, will come together and humble themselves and they pray together, Father, and when we come in one accord, Father, you will do great things. Father, and I pray for that agreement by your Spirit. Begin there, Father, bringing us together. Bring the body of Christ together, Lord, like never before that we will say the same things, that there will not be any distortion, any, any, any strange voice. Father, that your church will be the church that will hear the voice of the shepherd. And they will not listen to a stranger's voice. That they will know your voice for this time and this season, that you will open the ears of your church, that you will awaken your church. Yep. Yes. Father God, like those wise <coughs> virgins, Father, they yes. knew your voice. They That's heard right. your That's voice. Right. Father, we need the ears of the Spirit of God, yes. the fire of the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit to awaken your church mm -hmm. yes. during this day because you are at the door. That's right. You are at the door, yes, Father God. Yes, yes. Father right. God, and we need to be ready. Oh, Father, prepare Father your God. church. Mm -hmm. Prepare your church for such a time as this. Allow us to be the answer. Allow us to be the light. Allow us to burn with the oil of the Holy Spirit. Fill our lamps, Father God, with your presence, with your spirit. 
Father, make us seekers, Lord, Father. Yes, we cry out for the church that is dormant, the church, Father God, that is asleep. Father, we cry out that you will awaken them. And that they will be part, Father, of what you're doing. That they will be part, Father, of hearing what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the churches. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that this time and this season will be a season of awakening of your church. I pray in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we pray that in the midst of nations, hating nations, and yes. people turning to hate and even betray one another, uh, yes. that your church, Lord, mm -hmm. will respond with love. Yep, that's right. And Amen. where there is evil and treachery, Lord, that's we right. will respond with your goodness, yes. 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 Lord, yes. that we will be the Market antidote to yes. the Lord. wickedness of yes. this age. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. And that we truly would hear your voice and see yes. your light, yes. that we might be become more like you because Lord you say in Matthew 24 that there will be false prophets that mislead people and turn them astray and that their love will grow cold but Lord we ask that your people Lord would actually wax stronger oh, in yes. this time oh, yes. because we are not listening to that which is false no, but Lord. we are listening to truth we are listening to you who is the truth Father May, may this be our best time. <laughs> may we, those of us who are, are lukewarm, Lord, warm us up yep, that's right. and set us on fire. Yes, Lord. Lord, may everything that comes against you and your people yes. during this time be used to set our hearts aflame yes, that's right, that's with right. passion, yes. yep. with determination, yes. with vision, yes. with consecration. Lord, to advance your kingdom in every way that you called us to yes. and to do it together, yes. not to listen to the lies of the enemy that accuse others to us and even accuse us to ourselves. But no, we do listen to your voice. Yes, oh God. A stranger's voice. We will not hear. No, that's, right, that's right, that's right. And you will bring us forward that's as right. one. That's right. Yes. Because it is in you, that's right. Lord, that your army marches yes, that's together. Right. Yes. Lord, I pray that as, <laughs> as time continues to unfold and we, the people, individual people, go through different things, Lord, I pray that as we go through whatever we go through and we band together to help one another, that, Lord, we will press into you for your power to be released in those situations. And, Lord, as a result of that, then you will cause denominational differences just disappear. Because when we need you, we need your power. We don't need a Baptist power. We didn't need a Methodist power or Pentecostal power. We need your power. We need your word. We need your truth. We say, Lord God, let denominational differences begin to yes, disappear Father, amongst your people. Yes. There will become nothing in the presence of in the reality Jesus of who name. you are. Lord, you have called us to be one. You've already prayed for this, as is recorded in your, your prayer in John 17. You have prayed that we will be one. And Lord, we pray that, that will, we agree with that prayer, Lord God. We pray, yes, Lord God, that that oneness will begin to take place in this city, in every city in the nations, yeah. all over the world, that all this denominational differences yes, have kept us Father. on other sides of the street, other sides of you, other sides of each other. We say those things will begin to yes. fade away yes, so the in the reality, face-to-face yes, yes, -face reality of who you are. Mm -hmm. I pray that we will all be confronted with the reality of Christ, with the, with the reality of your power, with face-to-face -face encounters with you, and all these other things that we have erected that are man-made mm -hmm. will fade in the presence yes. of the reality yes, of the Father. kingdom of our God yes, and, the, and the reality of our God and the fullness of your presence Lord let this mark this time that we're in the beginning of birth pains Lord let this begin to be marked by our oneness and our unity Lord I know that you're coming back for a church without spot without wrinkle so everything that would stain us that would mark us the wrong way we say help move it away Lord, it's going to be moved away we say let it happen now in Jesus name all these things that separate us will not allow us to be who you've called us to be and so we're asking you, Lord God, to intervene on this on, on behalf of the body of Christ because as you do this, it's going to benefit the world as a whole. 
Yes, and we know that you love the world. That's why you came. You love the people of the world. You love the actual world itself. And so we thank you for your love. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your commitment. We thank you that you left your throne, throne of grace to come down here and to take on human flesh to do what we're asking you to do. We want to thank you for doing that. We want to thank you for making a way for us to, to know you, to know one another, our brothers and sisters in the spirit realm, that we may join together in agreement with you, in agreement with your word, that your will be done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for the new anointing coming on the church in this hour. Yes, Jesus. A yes, new anointing. Yes, yes, a new yes, anointing. Yes, a new yes, anointing yes, that is necessary for this time that we're in. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, we're not sufficient of ourselves to think anything of ourselves, Lord. That's right. All our sufficiency comes from you, Lord. And I say right now, I, I speak on behalf of all the sleeping church, Lord. Yes, Lord. All those people that have been hurt by the church, that don't go to church, that don't find a way not to, to see you, Lord. We tell them to wake up right now. There is yes, a word yes. of God in them. There's a spirit of God in them. We tell them to wake up. Lord, we, we shake them awake. And Father God, we whatever it takes, Lord, we ask that you bring into their spirit, rise up the word in yes, their heart yes, 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 to yes, wake yes. up. They are our sleeping army, Lord. Oh, and we need them to come in line and get their oil, Lord. Yes. We ask that right now that as you wake them up, that the clutter of this world will, will dissolve. Mm -hmm. That this clutter of, yes. of, of distractions, this yes. clutter of, yes. of, of movement yes. to be yes. still. Yes. And to know that yes. our God Hallelujah. defends. That's right. Our God takes his place. Yes, Amen. Right. Our God yes, goes before us. Amen. That they don't realize their God is in them, Lord. And I ask that that death yes. that dumps yes. them be put aside yes. and that spirit Jesus. man wake yes. up. Lord, you've yes. given us yes. everything we need for yes. life yes. and godliness. Yes. And we know yes. offenses will come. We yes. know offenses yes. will come. So we say, we know that you've already given us everything that we need for life and godliness. And one of the yes. things God. that you have given yes. us Lord. is the right and the responsibility yes. to forgive. It is a yes. weapon. It's in our hand. Yes. It's a part of the arsenal of God that we have. That we forgive people. They have nothing over us. And if we don't forgive, we know that the enemy comes to bring division. We say that will not be. Because we will be on the offense and we will know that a forgiveness is a place of authority. It's a place of power. It's a place of taking the offense against the wiles of the enemy. And we say we that, that weapon will begin to be used more and more as we move forward, oh God. And Lord, we will learn how to lovingly forgive one another. We will do it as an act yes, of love. Lord, even as you are hanging on the cross, taking our sins upon yourselves by the stripes that you took on the cross, you forgave us. And Lord, we say, let us learn how to forgive those people around us. Those churches that might have hurt us. Lord God, let recognize that it is not you. And we pray, Lord God, that we will learn how to distinguish these things. And we will recognize that we are called into your body. We are called into your kingdom. We are called to represent you. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Who they are. Yes, yes Lord. Jesus. And they yes, know Lord. That they are the righteousness of that's God. right. That's right. That blood is the most precious blood yes. in the universe. That's right. That blood is more powerful than any devil. That's right. That blood has done what no human being can do for us. And that blood is so precious. That they will know that they have that blood to plead that blood. Father, I pray that the yes. children all over will realize what God, what Jesus Christ did at Calvary for them. Yes. That when he went to that cross, he said, It is finished. That's right. yes. All that we need are in that Christ Jesus. Father, I pray that your people will know the blessings of knowing you, the benefits of being a Christian, and use it and exercise it and take your authority. In yes, the name God. of Jesus. Yes, yes. Father, I pray that they would know that they have power in yes. their mouth. Yes. Yes. Like our sister has said that, you know, yes. I prayed just now that that we bring things to pass that's with right. our mouth, that that's our right. words that's are, right. you know, that's power right. that's right. activated or something like yes. that. Father, I pray that they would know that they can use yes. the word of God and speak things into existence. Yes. Yes. Father, we are not going to be, no more be a yes. witch. 
rebuke it in the name of Jesus. We are a powerful church that know that our God is a great God. He said those that know their God shall do exploits. So Father, I'm praying that the children of the Most High God on the face of this earth will know that they have a God who loves them and who died for them. Yes. Other religions die for their God, but our God died for us. So Father, I pray that they will know that they are the redeemed of the Lord. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Yes, Lord. And Father, we just we sense, Lord, even in these days, Lord, the cry in the scriptures and in our hearts is to watch and pray. Yes. It, is, it is to watch, to watch, yes. because the bridegroom is coming. Yes. Be ready, be ready. Yes. Lord, have oil in your lamps. Lord, Lord, I just do pray, Father, for the church. I pray, Lord, all across this city in particular, Father, that the various congregations who meet this weekend, Lord God, there would be the preaching of the word. Yes. empowered by yes. your spirit yes. Lord, Lord activating God. the hearts of the people Lord God pulling them into the presence of the Lord Lord letting them know that Father there is something yes. amazing that can happen for them if they would just connect with Jesus yes. and Lord God I just pray Father that Lord even as we prayed here today that the, the revelation of who they are in Christ would hit their hearts yes. Lord oh, God. God and so that we would have an army of people standing up yes. as Lord, equipped, Father, with the word of God, the shield of faith, Father, the helmet of salvation, Father, breastplate of righteousness, Lord God, the belt of truth, Father, that they would know who they are, fully equipped, Father, in you, Lord, and that, Father, whatever comes against them, they have the authority, they have the power, they have the anointing in you to come against the powers of darkness and to be victorious. Father, we just pray, Lord, for a different kind of church to emerge. Yes. Yes. A different kind of church, yes. Lord. A oh, church that Father. knows who it is, Lord God. Yes. Father, oh. Father, Father, why should we have to go to another nation oh, to find the true Father. church? A church which is effective and powerful, oh, knows what it is to Father. come through trials and tribulations, but is victorious in it, Lord God. We want to see that kind of church here, Lord yes. God. Father, Father, we're not asking for trials and tribulations, but Lord God, in your mercy come down upon your people yes. Lord God. God. In your mercy open up their hearts Lord that they would receive you. In, their mer yes, in your mercy Lord. open their ears that they hear you Lord. Yes, oh God, oh, God yes. do this I pray in Jesus name. Mm. Yes, Amen. Mm. Amen. Yes, mercy mm. triumphs judgment. Yes, yes, yes. Father, identity is the issue that we know whose we are, who that's we right, belong that's to. Right, yes. that's and Lord, we are who you say we are. That's yes. right. We are not who other people say we are. No. That's right. We are not some Jesus. summation of hurts oh, Father. and of oh, Father. things that come against us. That's, right. that's the opposite of who we are. That's right. And so, Lord, we do pray that you will do a merciful and powerful work yes. in the hearts of your people beginning today. That's right. That's that right. you would take us deeper into the knowledge of who we are That's in right, Jesus Lord. Christ. Yes, Lord. And that as Natalie has already said, that we have everything yes. that pertains yes. That's right. to life. Yes. And to godliness. That's right. We we are who I am. That's says. right. That's right. Lord, you, our identity derives from you. That's right. And from no one Jesus and nothing God, else. You are the one that opens opportunities for us. You are the one yes, that Lord. gives favor. You are yes, the one Lord. that heals. You are the one that provides for all of yes. our needs. Lord, our identity is not limited by what other people oh, do or do God. not do. So we can easily and completely forgive them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the forgiveness opens up the healing and the redemption. Yes. And, and the, it frees Jesus. us. It frees Jesus. us to receive every blessing, every heavenly blessing in Christ Jesus. That's right. But when we fail to forgive, oh, Lord, Lord we allow other people to limit us yes. and to determine our identity. Yes. And we actually give up the power that we oh, have God. in you. Oh, forgive God. us, 
Lord, yes, where we've done stuff. this, because each one of us has in some way. But we don't want to live this way no, anymore, I try. Lord. I try. We don't want to. And so, Lord, we just present our hearts yes, before you, our yes. eyes, our ears, all that yes. we are, and say, Lord, solidify our identity yes, in you, yes. in you alone. Yeah. Father, we know these things are necessary because we are your hope for the earth. Yes, Lord. We are your we are your hand extended to the earth. And we need to know who we are so that we can do what you've called us to do, what you desire for us to do in the earth. We are your representative. We are little Christ. We are Christians. And Lord, we say, <clears throat> we want you to be formed in us. We want us to get over these little hurts. <clears throat> They are little in comparison to the bigness of our God and to the hugeness of your word. And Lord, we pray for the body of Christ this day, that Lord, we will rise up out of adversity, out of those things that have kept us down, so that we can stand on the truth of the word of God. We can stand up and be who you've called us to be and manifest your godliness, manifest your glory, manifest your truth, manifest it in the earth, that the word will become flesh in us like it was in Jesus. And we will then release it on the cross of the face of the earth on all of the places places where you have positioned us to represent you. All the places that you are sending us to represent yes. you. We recognize Lord God that every place is a place that belongs to you because you bled for it, you died for it and Lord you rose again for it. And Lord we say we want you to have your possession and it's not just individual people and it's also lands and, and nations within this world we say it's all yours and we want to give it to you and so we want you to have a people who are able to serve you in all these arenas, in all these areas, to give you what is yours because it is rightfully yours and no one else's. We know that the enemy was cast to the earth and he's wreaking havoc here as much as he can. But Lord, we are here as your ambassadors, as your ambassadors of reconciliation, reconciling men to you. And Lord, we cry out that that anointing will come on your people in this hour. That Lord, we look around for those who do not know you, that we might find a way to introduce them to the King of Glory glory, that their hearts will be open towards you, and that, Lord God, you will have uh, souls in, the, in your kingdom who are filled with your spirit, who know who they are, who know they have been washed clean by the blood of Jesus, who know that your spirit dwells within them, who knows, oh God, that, that your word is more powerful as the sharper than any two-edged sword, and we can use your word to do what you've called us to do. We say, Lord, let that Christian rise up in the earth in this hour, a, a person who knows who they are in you. They know that, Lord, their destiny is in you. Their life is in you. That our, You said you written, you know, every day of our lives has already been written in a book. Mm -hmm. And we want to thank you, Father, that that book is written, the story is written, and we just say yes and amen to your story. We pray that Christians will rise up in this hour knowing who they are, knowing who their enemy is. It's not mm -hmm. you, it's not one another, but your enemy is un our enemy is under our feet. Mm -hmm. He is under our feet because you have exalted us to sit at the right hand of God in Christ Jesus. And the enemy is under our feet as he is under his feet. We thank you, Lord God, that you've already called us into victory. Even as the scriptures say, you called us to walk in triumphant procession in Jesus Christ. We are already victorious. We thank you, Father, for the victory. We thank you, Lord God, that you have already done this. And we say yes and amen to what you have done. Show us how to walk in in every area of life that we're in. In our families, in our marriages, in our schools, in our businesses, in our jobs. Show us how to be above only and not beneath. Show us how to manifest your glory. Lead us, Holy Spirit, that we might do the right things in the right time, in the right way. And bring glory and honor to your name. Father, I want to ask you, Specifically, you come by the power of your spirit to <coughs> pastors' gatherings mm. in this city. Oh, Father, yes. there are many, many pastors' gatherings. Hallelujah. And Father, I'm asking that there will be more than social occasions. Oh, yes. Or just fellowship times. Oh, but Father. Lord, you would yes. come in. Yes. I'm asking, Father, oh, for Lord. a ministry power. of the Holy Spirit oh, to yes. be to be injected into these gatherings. Yes. That, Father, these many of these pastors themselves are weary. They don't know what to do. They they even come to their sermon for a Sunday and they haven't a clue really. Oh, Lord. And, Lord, and so many will 
pull something off the web and just preach something that's been done before, but they're not hearing your voice. They're not speaking that now word to their people. And so, Father, we cry out to you, Lord, that you come, Lord. Please, Lord, come into those gatherings. Lord, give a voice in there which can speak truth. But Lord, can unlock that which is discouraged and disappointed, Father. And Lord, we know that there are many such pastors. And Lord, how can they lead their flocks into that which is... Um, beneficial father when they themselves are needy and I just pray father that you would minister to the pastors Lord in Jesus name and father I pray that these pastors would know who they are yes Lord these pastors would know who they are in the name of Jesus and then they will teach you to the congregation who they are in Christ yes Father God, I just repent on behalf of all the pastors. Yes, we taught so many Jesus, things that are unnecessary. They are not equipped, the body of Christ. They are not equipped them with all the benefits of knowing the Lord as their Lord and Savior. Forgive us, God, by standing the gap and say, Lord, Father, forgive us, forgive us, forgive us, Lord, for being carried away by the truth, being carried away by the opinions of men, being carried away by our own problems and things we are facing in our own personal lives. Forgive us, Lord, that they will begin to we begin to teach the uncompromising okay. word of faith. Yes. Yes. So that Jesus yes. died for us. And when you died for us, you said it was finished. And that Lord, that that, that every pastor would begin to teach things that their congregation is not under the devil but over the devil. That's right. That, yes. the, that the devil just cannot do what he wants to do to them. That they have authority, they have power to preach, the, to speak the word of God yes. and to stand in faith. And to teach that Lord that we wish we should not allow sins in our life. All the little things that we do, the exaggeration, the lies, the, the gossips and the slander, that these things keep us from experiencing the goodness, the full benefit of what Jesus did. That we who preach this are in the pulpit. Instead of being men pleasers and trying to preach to each year. Father, we repent. Oh, forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, oh God. Forgive us, Lord, for failing to uh, uh, discharge the duty that you've given us. Forgive us for failing to do what you've called us to do. That, Lord, in so many places there are weak Christians. So many places there are Christians who don't even know who they are. Forgive us, oh God, for these things. May the true word of God go across pulpits all across our city, all across the world, that the Christians there will know who they are. They will know the truth, and the, the, the knowledge of the truth will set them free. Set them free from the lies of Satan. Set them free from the way of this world set us free from the from the lust of the flesh and the pride of the eyes and the and the, and the pride of life the, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life that we will be delivered from those things yes, we just God. bring our body of Christ to you today in Jesus name yes, it's only by your power Lord that we cut off these external validations oh. <laughs> You're our validation. That's You're right. our warrior. You're our high king, Lord. Yep. And Father God, we pray for a fresh revelation of wisdom on these pastors. Mm -hmm. yes, that Father. you give them truth in the inward parts, Lord. Amen, Lord. And as you reveal that truth to them, that pure word will pour out. Yes, Father. Yes. Pour out water to refresh yes, the Lord. spirits of, of hungry souls, Lord. And we call the church... Uh, people that they would not fall into religion of uh, religiosity, oh, but that your spirit would flow, Lord, because we know your word will be blocked by tradition, oh, but it's freed in liberty. It's freed in liberty, Lord, and That's we ask right. that the spirit of liberty come upon these pastors mm. and to give that freedom yes. to their to their to the all yes. the ones that are astray, and we are that church that meets people on the corner, that meets people at the grocery store. Father God, we can freshen their spirits, God, because in your presence is refreshing. And we ask that presence to be released now, Lord. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. I'm going to ask very specifically, Lord, that these various groups across our city, they are key, Lord. They are yes, gatherings yes, of pastors, Lord. Lord, who really they, look, they gather because they want some fellowship and they want yes. some encouragement. 
I'm asking, Father, that you would bring into these groups the voice of the Lord. Yes. Father, oh. perhaps a visitor will come in or what, but Lord, something will happen yes. where the, the voice of the Lord comes in. Yes. Lord, and the answers come to perhaps very long existing problems, yes. Father, which are hidden, which are never ever um, are shared. We mm. just pray in Jesus' name that you would send into these groups the voice of the Lord. Father, Father, I pray too for, for the ability to counsel these men, Lord, and help them, Father, to walk out of problems, walk out of attitudes, walk out of discouragements and disappointments, Lord, into the victory which is in you. Lord, they're in this calling because, Lord God, you've had your hand upon them. But, Lord, it just feels heavy, uncomfortable, and wearisome. And I just pray in Jesus' name for the grace of God to come to these, these pastors, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, those in these groupings, and, Father, even those who have just don't even get there, Lord, mm. I pray in Jesus' name yes. that you would minister to them. Yes, Lord. Minister to them in Jesus' name. Lord, we do pray for breakthrough. Mm. Yes, Lord, for every pastor, yes. for every believer yes. in San Antonio, Lord. Mm. We're all pushing. Yes. Lord, we sense that you you want a significant transformation in our lives. You do. Mm-hmm. And we can't we can make ourselves available and position ourselves. But we can't do it. Mm. We can't do anything without you. No, no. And so we're asking Holy Spirit, mm. our helper, mm. the one mm. who comes alongside of us, mm. to come alongside, mm. Jesus, especially Jesus, of these Jesus. pastors. Yes. Yes. Lord, not only in their corporate mm. gatherings, mm. but in their own individual oh God. quiet times in your presence that Lord you would release angels to minister to them to strengthen them to give them hope to point out things Holy Spirit that you would speak to them in surprising ways even in ways maybe they haven't experienced before but that they would recognize God is speaking to me God cares and he is pointing me this way and that way. Yep. And they will be heartened, Lord, to follow after the voice of the Lord. Yep. Even oh, if it God. even if it's something they don't really understand. May they not insist on understanding it first, but May they be yes. so happy to, to recognize that you're at work and speaking to them, that they are willing, Lord, to, to follow without mm. total mm. understanding. And, yes. and even if it doesn't match their theology, oh, Father. Father, may they be willing instead to follow you. Yes. Yes. And Father, we pray that you will clothe the oh, pastors Lord. with power from yes. on high. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Whether they believe in the baptism of the Holy Spirit, Spirit or not, we we know that we all need your power in order to uh, minister. Uh, it comes from you, and Lord, we can each think of pastors that and individuals who have received the baptism, even those that didn't believe in it. <laughs> they were just gifted, Lord. They woke up praising you in tongues, or. One thing or another, I, I don't know. I don't know why you do it some ways with one and other ways with another. But Lord, we're asking every which way that you can do it. Yes. Lord, would you do it here in Jesus, San Antonio? Please, Lord, please, Pour Lord. out your spirit, Pour it out, Lord. Lord. Pour Refresh, out your spirit. Renew. Yes. Rebaptize, Lord. Come afresh. Mm. Come afresh, Lord. Yes. Lord. Don't let people talk of a past experience. Lord, yes. let them be living in the now, yes, the now experience yes, of a face-to-face Lord. relationship yes, with Father. you, Lord. Mm-hmm. Lord, right. where you are real with them. Mm-hmm. Lord, it's not words in their head. It is a, the actual experience of life. Yeah. Oh, God. Yes. yes Father, we just, we just want to thank you, Lord, for 
we know you heard us today because we're asking according to your will. And, Lord, we know that you want all of us to be filled with your spirit, to know who we are, to serve you in the earth with power and authority. And so we're just asking for pastors today, Lord, and leaders, that they will have a fresh encounter with Holy Spirit. And that encounter would change them, and as a result, it would change their churches. It will change the people, because we know, Lord God, the way things are, are organized, that people uh, exalt themselves, and some, to some extent, they're pastors and leaders. And we say we recognize that, good or bad, but we recognize it. We say, Lord God, as you are humbling uh, these pastors and bringing them to a place of true humility so that they are knowing where they are in you and they can seek you for a fresh outpouring of your spirit upon them, that that will trickle down and impact the church that they lead. We say, Lord, we pray that you will do this, that whole church in our city will have, have a, a, an empowering encounter with the Holy Spirit, that Lord God, the light will begin to dawn in spirits all over our city, and hearts and minds and spirits all over our city. That you are God, and you're not a denomination. You are God. You are you are you are the living God. It is not a denomination. It's not a form. It is not a fashion. It is a person in Jesus Christ. And then we pray that that reality begins to come to hearts and minds in our city like never ever before. As we go through these different challenges that are coming, I pray for the reality of. of of, of God to be seen in the midst of all of that. For those who go through sickness, may they may they encounter Jehovah that heals, yes. our God that heals. May they recognize yes. that healing power is in your hand. Yes. May if, as we go through other situations, may that who you are be revealed in the midst of that situation. May we see that you are our provider. May we see that you are our everything. Yes. We pray that you will reveal yourself in these days like never, ever before. Yes. We pray that the church will humble herself like never, ever before. And we want to thank you, Lord God, as we are praying this day. We thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Father, I, I want to thank you for those men and women who you have called uh, to be pastors. Yes. Uh, for their commitment to you. That's right. Yes. That's right. Thank you, God. We understand, Father, that there's a... Uh, Bit of a competition oh. among them, you know, trying to outdo the other ones. Oh God! Uh, maybe some they feel discouraged because they mm. cannot meet up to them. Oh God! Uh, Father, we ask in Jesus' name, Father, that every pastor will understand that you have called us to make disciples. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Not just to gather people. That's mm -hmm. right. Not just to preach, but to mm. uh, impart life. Yes. Oh Father. And, uh, Father, I know that some of them, they're struggling <coughs> in their marriage. Mm. We ask, Father, oh, Jesus, that God. those who are married, that you Jesus. will strengthen Jesus. your marriage. Yes, Father. Jesus. Thank you, God. That, that you, Father, maybe because of the, the demands of the work mm -hmm. that they do, uh, yes. sometimes they neglect their marriages, Father. Mm -hmm. And we ask in Jesus' name, Father, that mm. help, Lord. marriage will be united. So yes. Be yes. 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 Father, sometimes they devote uh, so much time and they even neglect their own health, Father. And we ask in Jesus' name mm -hmm. that you will give them healing, Father, yes. what they what they, yes. they need. Okay. And they, that they will be walking in health, Father. Like you will give them the understanding so they can take care of their own bodies, Father, mm -hmm. for your honor oh, and Lord. for your glory, Father. Thank you, and Father, we ask also for the relationship with their children. Yes, uh, Lord. The family yes. relationship, yes. Father. Some children uh, from pastor they 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 really discouraged because mm -hmm. they don't live up to, to what people are expecting from them, mm -hmm. and sometimes they get rebellious, Father, and that's even yeah. goes against the testimony of the pastor. And Father, we ask Father that there will be unity in the mm -hmm. life yes, of the, the help pastor, them. Father, help in them Jesus' name. Yes, Father, we know that sometimes they incur in the debts because maybe they won't have a big uh, building or something. Father, mm -hmm. we ask for the finances that you will help them, Father. Yes. You will give them the wisdom, wisdom and wisdom, the understanding wisdom. how to use, Father, the resources that you have given. Yes, oh God. In Jesus' yes. name, Father, we ask, Father, that you will uh, give them the power that they need to minister. Oh, Amen. And, yes. Father, that they will, they will understand that 
the calling, Father, once again, is to make disciples, Father. And, and that that will be a reality in each one of us. Yes. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Father, we want to thank you for this this time of prayer because we know that we've cried out to you according to your will. Yes, Lord. We know that. Yes, Lord. And so we thank you for hearing our prayers and doing them. We thank you for encountering pastors and churches and believers all over our city and showing yourself strong on our behalf. Lord, glorify yourself in your church. In this hour, like no other hour, glorify yourself in your church. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We want to thank you for joining us today in this place of prayer. Mm-hmm. Keep praying. We're praying. You keep praying, too. We'll see you here next week. Bless you. Mm-hmm.